everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan and I'm a third year optometry student. If you're new here, I make optometry videos, educational, lifestyle, and all that fun stuff. So go ahead and subscribe, leave the notification bell on, and follow me on Instagram if you want. Um, but today's video is going to be all of my equipment that I got from optometry school. I know that when I entered first year and they gave us all of the equipment that we have to buy, I was really confused and also the prices really scared me and I didn't even know what I was buying. Um, so hopefully this video clears it up for you and show you a little glimpse of what we bought and what we'll be using in clinic. So I'm going to start out by listing all the prices of the equipment and then I'll go ahead and show you the equipment and what they're used for um, in a little bit. So the first thing that we bought was the first year kit which cost $2,200. Ooh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but um, when you see in the video it's going to be that giant suitcase and lens and a lot of the equipment in there. And the second thing we buy is a thousand and one hundred dollars which is the retinoscopy set that i will also be showing and then that is all you're going to buy for the fall of your first year and then when you start the spring you're going to be buying your bio my bio is about two thousand four hundred i want to say two thousand three hundred to two thousand four hundred um but it was because i bought a brand new one i bought one from one of the top companies i bought a Heine. But if you do find one from an upperclassman or you know you find a better deal or if you want to buy like a cheaper one that's totally fine too don't feel obligated to buy like the best of the line because i have friends that have used older ones or ones they bought from upperclassmen and they worked perfectly fine um one of my friends used her dad's which was literally over 20 years old and she still did perfectly fine all her competencies and everything so I don't think price and being the top of the line is going to affect your grade. For me, the most important things when selecting a BIO, the reason why I chose Heine is because I have a relatively larger head. <laughs> and so when I used Keeler and other ones, they were really heavy and I felt really cramped with them on. And I know that I'm going to be using my BIO for when we first start practicing, you were just using your BIO the whole duration. It could be from one to three hours of constant use and when you're downstairs preparing for your competency or just practicing in general you're going to be wearing it like all the time so for me comfort was a big one um, I know Keeler advertised for being the best in optics which is really great too but um, I've never had any issues with my Heine having bad optics or anything like that so I'm not even trying to sell you a Heine <laughs> so I guess the moral behind that is just find one that fits your budget and find one that makes you the most comfortable because you're going to be using that for a really long time and you don't have to go for the top of the line for a BIO um, and you'll still be perfectly fine. And then our second year we bought a second year kit which is I want to say around $1,200 or $300 um, but yeah I think those are all the things that we have to buy for equipment so let's go ahead and see what the equipments are. This is the only thing we got for free, guys. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Here's the lens kit, and I'm gonna open it from the ledges from the outside. And now we're opening it, and this is what it looks like. All right, so first thing we have our stethoscope over here, and I'm honestly not too sure what this is. Um, I've never even opened it up until this moment right here. It looks like a loose lens. All right, so now I have a near chart and a cluder, this is the one we got for free. And here is the color vision book. And next I have the Randot cheat sheet for the little kids. Um, it goes with the Randot book. All right, so first we have a few pen lights that comes with the kits for checking pupils and such. And now we have a PDU stick, um, popsicle stick with a target so when we're doing you know near point convergence or amplitude of accommodation or just cover test for little kiddos it gives them a target to look at and here's another near chart but this one is used for ferometry when we're checking eye alignment um, the next one is an answer grid and behind that is another reading chart but this one is supposed to stimulate you know like a, uh, a newspaper a book versus just a 2020 line just to see how well they can read um, this one is the brand out stereo test 
and it just checks to see how well your eyes work together and whether you can see stereo. Um, and you use these 3D glasses to go with it. And here's the HLTV chart. And here we have um, red green glasses and a little stick for when we're doing vision therapy. Okay, so here we have our rat and filter that we use with a slit lamp just to get a better view of the floor scene. Um, we have our HVID ruler over here. And here we have this contact lens clinical practice pocket pearl guide that we got for free. Um, here's the Wesson card. And some random papers that I'm just going to move aside. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Here, we have our fixation disparity curve chart that you will learn about your second year of optometry school. Okay, so here's what we use for vision therapy. And we use that with the red green glasses and the stick that I put out earlier. And here is me struggling really hard to pull this out. Um, it's a single presentation flashcards for the Leah chart. Alright, here's the filter for the Maddox rod. And here is the eye patch. All right, on to the next layer, here we go. Okay, so we have these Leah symbols and it goes with the Leah charts that I just put out a minute ago. And here we have the tweezers. Okay, so we have our tape measure and our lens clock to check our lens prescription. Um, here is a prism bar that we use for cover test. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing right here, but I thought it was kind of cool to show you guys <laughs> this. <laughs> All right, putting that back in, that's going to be blood pressure cuff, and this is our alga brush. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what is this? I don't know. It's on. I don't want to turn it on and lose the battery if it has me. I thought there was supposed to be like something fluffy on top. That's cool. Okay, so here's the foreign body removal kit. I did not forget to show you. <laughs> And here's the loose lens holder and the pinhole. All right, so here are the lenses and this is the lens holder for if you want to put the lens in, the loose lens in and the patient can wear them. All right, and here's the overview. We have our concave spheres, our sill, and our convex spheres and some prisms in the lens kit. Um, and what's cool is that you can also detach the case. Alright, so into the next pocket, we have some extra blood pressure cuffs right here. And these are the loose prisms. Okay, and here is the kit I mentioned earlier that was about 1,100. Um, here's what we use for MEM. Here's our DO attachment. Alright, and here is the retinoscopy handle. Alright, and here is the trans illuminator. Okay, so here's me putting the retinoscope together, and I don't know what I'm doing right here. <laughs> BIO, the 78 lens, and the Okay, so this is just a bunch of parts. Use this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's whatever. <laughs> Alright, should we start with just the BIO, the mm -hmm. big boy? The big boy. Alright, so that is all I have for today. I hope you guys have an amazing day and you found this helpful. And don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram. Bye guys!